Hey! Hello! Open up! What's the bloody racket? You're giving me a bloody headache. But it's so dark in here, and I'm uh, feeling a bit claustrophobic. Cluster what? I don't like enclosed spaces. Would you mind leaving the hatch open? It'll make me feel better. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Deary me, we can't have you feeling bad, can we? After all, this ain't jail. It's a bloody holiday resort, innit? No. Please, I'll be very grateful. How grateful? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. How grateful do you... Will you sing me a song? A uh, song? Yeah. A jingle. A ditty. A rhythmic series of musical notes. Like me mum used to. I guess. I can do that. Yes. Yes, I can sing you a song. Later. Thanks ever so much. I'll just leave the hatch open then, shall I? And I'll come back later, right? For that ditty. Um, yes. Yeah. The door's bolted and locked from the outside. Even if I could reach that bolt, I wouldn't be able to lift it. I don't know if this will help, but it's a start. I got the guard to leave the hatch and the door open, and I can see the bar that keeps the door bolted. It's locked, and even if I could reach it, I wouldn't be able to move it. But maybe you or April can figure something out. That's what we're here for, figuring things out. Also rescuing you, of course. For me, it's mostly the last one, not so much the former. Anyways, I'll fly down and tell April. She'll know what to do, I'm sure. She's the brains of the outfit. Also the bronze. I'm just the wings and the beak. Did you find her? I did, and she's doing fine. They haven't beheaded her yet. I think. Can they reattach your head after cutting it off? No. Did you find anything in the cell we can use to get her out of there? The hatch and the door is open. Zoe says the door is locked from the outside with a metal bar. There's a guard, but he's not very attentive. Right. So we need something to take care of that bolt, and something to get rid of the guard. Any ideas? Magic's always a good answer. You can't go wrong with magic. That's my final answer. Magic. Magic won't work inside Friar's Keep. The stone walls work as a sort of magical jammer. But potions would still work. That's chemistry, not magic. And I know where to get potions. Roper clacks. Wait here, Crow. Alrighty. I'll keep my eye on the tower in case anything, uh, happens. I'll hold down the fort while you get the supplies. I'll hold down the fort while you get the supplies. Crab Bend used to be a lively neighborhood, but all the non-humans have been forcibly moved to Old Town and the streets completely deserted. Roper Clax, at your service. I need a couple of potions. You've certainly come to the right place. Oh, uh, what do you need? A, a love potion? A acne away? A webbed toes no more? Uh, some sort of a, a scented lubricant? Scented? No, I need something that can melt metal. Iron be gone! And something that can knock someone out cold. 
Knock you out. Extra strength. Tossable or drinkable. I guess it needs to have some range. Excellent. One moment. This ought to knock the guard out. Spells and filters for Acid. premium quality. I'll need to be careful with this. Magical ingredients and made to order charm. I need you to do something for me, Crow. I need you to fly up there with these two potions. Can you do that? No problemo. That's what my talons are for. Just hand them over and Crow's your man. Bird. Birdman. Guybird. Whatever. I'm that. I come bearing gifts. April got her hands on some potions that might be of use to you. This one melts metal, apparently. Careful, you don't want to spill that on the floor. Or, uh, you know, your hands. So I pour this on the bolt? I guess so. What do I know? Birds don't have any use for chemistry. Then there's this one. What's this for? It's a knockout bomb. You toss it, it breaks, smoke comes out, people fall over, that sort of thing. Real popular with the kids for some reason. Okay, for the guard. So I just toss it at his feet and he'll be knocked out. Will he get hurt? Hmm, he might wake up with a headache. Just remember that he would cut your head off without a moment's hesitation. It's a Mershnik eat Mershnik world, baby. And only the strongest Mershniks survive. Settle down, you. And put those trousers back on. Disgraceful. If your mum could see you now, she'd be horrified. Horrified. I'll need to get close enough to toss the knockout potion at him. It worked. He's out cold. Oh. My. God, I'll go blind if I do that again. Hey, uh, Warden, what's happening with lunch? 
My stomach's killing me. And Mrs. Britt has the day off, Mr. Byrne, and you'll just have to wait. Uh, sir, can't we just order something in? Hmm, well, it'll have to come out of your salary then, Mr. Biernan. Our budget doesn't cover such uh, extravagances. Extravagances, my gosh. Fine, sir, as long as I get some food. Very well. I shall send for a sandwich, the cost of which will be <clears throat> deducted from your next salary. <clears throat> 